uh, marshmallow12.com and in this video I'm going to show you I'm going to take you through some of the basic steps to CSS to get it up and running and some of the techniques you can use. Um, now the there's three techniques to actually implement CSS into a file or a page rather or the or the webs well one of two is to implement it into a page, the other one is to implement it to every page basically. Um, so the one way you can implement it to every page is the uh, recommended way because um, it keeps everything together and nice and neat and I need one line of code on each page and that is in the head tags. Um, another one is um, called inline texting, inline CSS scripting whatever. Um, basically you put it inside the tags of um, a div tag, paragraph tag, body tag, um, any tag really um, that's contained within the body and the other one is just putting CSS as it would be um, into a style um, style tag on the page um, which is a bit better than the inline one but I'd still recommend and prefer the uh, external um, so what I'm going to show you first is um, I've just got a quick page set up here what I'm going to show you first is inline texting so inline texting is something that I would do as um, just for a one-off one-off change in the script so say if I've got an idea here of um, let's just say page I don't know um, then in here basically you would have your style like that and then this is where you implement the CSS so you can change the the color of the um, the text inside that div to that so that's um, inline and then you would carry on doing it here as normal CSS so then you can put background dash color and then whatever color you want I'm just going to put green so then if I just save that and echo that out of obviously you no know it's coming up yet so I'll just put some some text in there and um, as you see we get that so basically that's just inline texting inline scripting sorry um, so basically I would not recommend doing that way but that's a way you can do it so I'll just bring that back to like that so another way is to bring it up here like this so then you can have style oops, style um, type is um, text for CSS and then you would have for style and then you would just carry on with your normal CSS code here as it would be in an external file so basically we just put in um, page then we can put color is uh, if I do the same so background dash color we get that up and then green and if I save that out again as you see we get the same result but it's um, your CSS code is contained within a style block on the page now another way is um, using an external an external page so to put this into external page which is what I would recommend doing is um, if you come up into your head tags it doesn't matter where in your head I usually put it below the uh, or just above the final ending head um, so basically we're just going to put in link rel is equal to style sheet um, the type is um, text for slash CSS and href which is the location I'm just going to put it as styles.css so now what we can create now is in the same directory if we just put in a new file and call it styles.css and then open up this we have a CSS document now if I just come out and refresh this so we get that gone there and if I come into the CSS basically we just do the same as what we had um, up here in the uh, the style tags in the block so basically we've got uh, what did we call it page and uh, basically just put in what we did there so color is equal to uh, this green or was it red oh well put the background color as green this time 
background dash color is um, it's red then so then if I refresh this we get the same result popped out here um, now if it looks a bit different it's because I just changed them over so it's 0 F 0 There. So that should be um, background like that as we did it before. Okay, so that's basically just showing you how to implement um, CSS in different ways into the page or the website. Um, doing it this way with an external page is best for um, it's best to do it because it uses a separate page it doesn't take up only takes up one line of code in the head tag so um, everything's kept nice and neat and it's in it's all um, organized whereas when you if you have inline texting it's okay to do it as a one-off but um, after the one-off if it's not going to be just one-off and you're actually going to style the actual block using inline texting then the code can get quite messy um, so I wouldn't really recommend doing it inline texting because um, as I've just said it's, it can get very messy but if it's just a one off like this is here where it's just one just one style going onto it so say if you want to just um, not display it as when the um, the um, page load so you want JavaScript to enable the display saying if you use like jQuery or something and you can just use this as a one-off so display none when the page loads so just as a one-off you can do that instead of having um, an extra block in here you know for just um, just display none basically see how that kind of takes up a whole new block for just one line it's not really the point so that's so that's the problem with inline texting. So the other uh, type type of way that I've shown you before with the style block, um, you can do it that way, um, but um, it only works on the page. So you'd have to put that into every page for if you've got the same want the same layout on different pages. So that's why this way is a lot easier to do it if you're going through the website, you want to style the whole website. So then you only have to do is put that there. Um, so I'm not going to talk much more now. Um, I'm just going to leave you to it. Mess around with CSS. Um, I will be doing some more videos on um, different types of um, like how to style, different styles you can put onto it, and just stuff like that. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.